Hey everyone, it's Adam O'Dell. I'm a composer, pianist, teacher, writer, and comedian. I want to say thank you so much for stopping by the channel to see what I'm up to today. So for those of you who know who I am and who have seen my videos, first of all, thank you so much for watching. And my plan, at the moment at least, is to once or twice a month here in the early goings, post some really nice studio quality videos. And if you'd like to see that happen more often, please check out my Patreon and Teespring links down in the description so that you can support what I'm doing and I can sort of release those sorts of things more often. In addition to doing YouTube and being a full-time musician, I'm also a full-time student. I'm a doctoral student at the Peabody Institute of the Johns Hopkins University, and we just got our semester started up again, and so producing videos twice a month or even once a week, as I would like to eventually do, uh, becomes really difficult if I'm doing like these really high-quality things, uh, but I figured I would just come to you right now in this sort of more casual environment, you know, where my camera's at this lower casual angle and you can see my condenser mic here in the shot. Uh, while I was in studio today, my professor showed me uh, this article that he thought I might find interesting. And so I thought I would show it to all of you as well. So uh, this is an article that came out from the BBC. It's called Mummy Returns, Voice of 3000 Year Old Egyptian Priest Brought to Life. I was like, wow, okay, this is, you know, this is some crazy stuff. The article says here, scientists have fulfilled a mummified Egyptian priest's wish for life after death by replicating his voice with artificial vocal cords. Uh, so yeah, this is Nesya Mun, I think I'm pronouncing that right, Nesya Mun's voice. Uh, he's a 3,000 year old Egyptian priest. And what they were able to do is they were able to do a 3D printed version of his voice box um, because they were able to essentially scan the mummy in order to get his precise dimensions of his vocal tract and they reproduced it with a 3D printer so they could reproduce his voice. And I think you guys are gonna really love this. This is so, so cool. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go. Is that not the most beautifully underwhelming thing you've heard all day? <laughs> like seriously, they scanned a mummy and they 3D printed his voice box. This is in the BBC. And the sound that they produced is this. This is like the least hype thing I can think of. Okay, all right, you know what? Let me see. Let me see if I can't make this a little more hype to sort of get their money's worth out of it. See, let's give this one a try. All right, all right. So that's fun. Um, but why don't we? Uh, you know what? Let's do something original with this. Let's uh, let's do a little composing. Okay. So real quick, let's just. Um, I, I don't know. So it's a it's a short little thing. We can probably turn that into some sort of motive. All right. So let's uh, let's listen to the track again. <laughs> Okay, yeah, okay, so now that I hear it, it actually, like, so it's a pretty, okay, so there's, like, this gliss, and it's, like, it's pretty pitched, so it's gotta be, okay, what is that, like, it's probably, like, a, uh, uh, uh. yeah, so it's, like, a tritone between, what is this, G, G3 to C-sharp 3-ish, I guess, or D-flat, however you wanna, uh, uh. Am, I, am I getting that right? Yeah, okay, so okay, so we got this uh, G to a D flat, so we can work with that. Okay, so let's uh let's go on in here, let's uh let's add a drummer. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, okay, I think that'll do it. Alright, uh let's uh go ahead and record ourselves a bass line here. All right, so yeah, we got our drummer and we got our bass in here. So um, why don't we uh, just get the sound file going and uh, I'll do a little bit of improv over it with uh, an electric piano and yeah, let's just see how it sounds. Thank you. 
Okay, so that was ridiculous and fun, and uh, I feel like we covered some decent ground for just a, a couple hours at night in my studio. So, you've seen what I can do, at least within that hilariously short amount of time. Let's see what you guys can do. I've left links in the description where you can find this audio file and all that good stuff. Uh, if you download it and make something with it and post it to Instagram and tag me at Composer ComposerFace on Instagram, I will be sure to share it with everybody. So uh, not that I have a ton of followers on Instagram. Uh, or you know what? Let's also do Twitter, ComposerFace. Not that I have many there either, but if you post it, I will be sure to share it and we can have just uh, a fun little group time with this little this little sound file. This is... Uh... Eh. 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 All right, you have your mission. <laughs> Go forth and create. My name's Adam O'Dell. Thank you guys for stopping by. <laughs> Subscribe if you want. <laughs> See ya. Thanks, patrons. They're listed here somewhere. Bye. <laughs>